Hello everyone, probably you are aware that the Council of Architecture has released a notification stating that it would be conducting an examination PGETA for the admissions into post-graduation courses in architecture from this year. So in this video, we are going to discuss the details of this examination PGETA 2024. We will try to, not just being a new examination which is just being introduced from this year, there are a lot of uncertainties and clarifications which are yet to be uh, received from the end of COA but we will try to analyze the information we have at this point of time all what we know about this examination what is expected uh, with respect to this examination and comparison with respect to gate architecture these are the points we're going to cover in this short session so to first begin with coa has released the official brochure for pg eta 2024 that is basically postgraduate entrance test in architecture which is scheduled to be held this month that is july of 2024 the first attempt of it so we'll look into the details of the number of attempts you have the syllabus the exam and also uh, the details with respect to the admission into various colleges what is expected with respect to what information we have at this point of time so to first begin with respect to the uh, details of this examination about this examination if you check the official brochure it has been stated that this exam will be used as an entrance test for the admission to the first year of two year post graduation degree courses. So two year MR courses. So this examination pertains to MR courses but not the other related courses like say uh, uh, there are also specializations like M plan for example, masters in planning or masters in construction management, infrastructure management. Those are not covered within the preview of this COIS examination. It is for the admission of MR courses that they are talking about with respect to the list of colleges now that is not very clear in the information brochure at this point of time um, if you move further with respect to the context in which this examination is being held so it is given that this exam will, uh, will, will is based on the minimum standards of architecture education to post graduation degree program as per the earlier published document which has been held on this particular date 77th meeting of COA if you look into it, the candidate needs to, so as per this uh, notification, it states that the candidate needs to qualify an entrance test for admission to PG program in architecture complying with the admission norms prescribed in the minimum education standards as per the COA uh, uh, guidelines. Now that is what we know at this point. So it clearly states that uh, the uh, candidate who is getting into a mark has to qualify an entrance test. That is what we know. It is similar to the exam of NATA which is held after plus two for entrance into BR courses. It is mandatory in India to qualify an architecture aptitude test, not necessarily only NATA. So broadly there are two examinations. You have NATA examination for various state level uh, universities and also colleges and you also have a uh, JE paper 2 which is conducted by NTA that would be mainly for the IITs, NITs and SPAs. So similar pattern is expected here as well. Uh, GATE is an exam which has been conducted, which has been uh, held for the last 30 years or 30 plus years and that has been the main, uh, let's say, uh, the, 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 that has been the procedure through which candidates got admission into a market IITs particularly, IIT Roorkee and Kharagpur and also uh, various architecture and also planning courses and also NITs and also SPS, SPM Vijayawada and Bhopal and also Delhi. Delhi has some particular weightage for the entrance examination. So similarly, uh, this exam PGETA, the detailed list of colleges, which colleges are going to accept this code that is not yet uh, clear from their end. However, it is expected that this exam will be mainly for the state level universities which have been listed also in the web. We will also go through the website of COA and see what are the various recognized mark courses as per the COA's website too. Uh, so for now you can remember that this is one of the examinations through which you can get admission into MR courses, not the only examination at least based on the information we have at this point of time. For uh, So for, there has been a helpline number also which has been provided in the brochure you from your end also contact if you have any personal query other than that if there's any official update on this regard also we will try to put it out on all the social media handles as well including on youtube you can keep following us as far as the uh, exam is considered this exam will be held twice a year 
as far as the examination is considered as per the brochures pg eta exam will be held twice every academic year and this year it is scheduled to be held on 20th of july and 4th of august 2024 and you can uh, apply for this examination through the official website of pg eta uh, which is www.pgeta.in and the syllabus also has been given of which there will be a total so it's a 3 hour examination a computer based test Uh, only with MCQ questions and there is no negative marking as per the brochure. And this exam will be for three hours with 75 questions, uh, which will give you a weightage of 100 marks. There are four modules from which the questions will be asked, and majority of the questions, 48 questions out of 75, that is uh, asked from these four or five topics which are list listed in module one, which include history of architecture, theory of architecture, site planning, site analysis, and understanding urban scale projects. That's the content of module one, which has the majority of weightage. You can check out the remaining syllabus from the brochure and also uh, the. marks like i told you it will be a 100 marks examination and if you are attempting the exam twice you can use best of your two scores for your admission into the colleges and this exam will have one mark two mark and also three mark questions 55 out of all the 75 questions will be one mark questions five questions of three marks each and 15 questions of two marks each that's the mcq pattern paper for 100 marks with 75 questions as per the official brochure of co uh, coa or official brochure of pget now as i told you let us also if i take you through the details of the cos website you can also check the list of courses which have been or list of uh, institutions which have been approved for pg courses uh, as per the updated list on coa cos website now this is the uh, list of co approved institutes for post graduation courses you can get it on the website of it this list does not include spas iits or nits as such so only the colleges which are listed over here probably like punjab university you also have ggs ipu based colleges uh, and also some universities of Uh, state level from Gujarat. You also have uh, the Anna University in Chennai, University of Mysore in Mysore, and also uh, Vishveshwara Technological University in Belgaum. Uh, you also have University of Kerala, AKTU in Thiruvananthapuram, uh, and also Lucknow uh, AKTU, University of Mumbai, MGM University, and then you also have the colleges of D. Y. Patil, Deemed University. Uh, you can check out the list on the website of coa the colleges which are listed over here those are what are expected to be covered under this examination of pg et these pg courses which are listed on the website of coa cos website uh, which are like i told you clearly iits nits and sps are not found on the list at least at this point of time you can check out the website these colleges are what we are expecting to so at this point of time these various universities they conduct their own examinations some universities take through gate examination as well so to unify those various state level examinations this pg eta examination has been introduced by co coa so those who are targeting for iits uh let's see gate 2025 official website has already been launched and it has been clarified that gate architecture paper will also be held this year too so gate will be the main examination for iits and nits and sps at least from what we know at this point of time uh for m plan into iits or other interdisciplinary courses for sure you'll need to go through gate itself so any further clarity in this regard you can contact cos helpline which has been given in the pgt brochure or if there is any concrete Uh, as a detailed list which will be published by COAP COA if any case we will put out the list and share it with the student community soon thank you everyone happy classes dedicated to excellence